I sound like a broken record, but I'm just gonna keep saying it. Sending email newsletters is the smartest thing that you can do to grow your online business. But I don't think I have to convince you of that, otherwise you wouldn't be here. If you're excited to start a new email newsletter or reimagine an existing one, then I'm excited to walk you through the process of designing one from beginning to end using my new favorite platform, Flowdesk. Let's get started. My name is Michelle Hickey, and I'm a creative director who helps online businesses create unique branding, aesthetics, and share worthy content so that you can shine online. For this demo, I'm going to be creating an email newsletter on behalf of one of my favorite fictional clients, Hermione Granger and her brand, Sorceress & Co. If you'd like to see the process of designing her brand's identity, I'll link that video in the description below. If you've been following me for a long time, you know that I've been using ConvertKit as my email service for years, and I still think very highly of them but my business model changed and it left me searching for a service that was more cost effective for my needs. Plus something that would have the design options that I felt ConvertKit was lacking. If you'd like to try out Flowdesk, I'll leave a link for you in the description below that'll give you 50% off your first year, which is wonderfully affordable. Since we're inside my account, I wanted to give you a peek at the newsletters that I've sent out since making the switch, which most notably, I want to point out the consistency. When I was using ConvertKit, I was always struggling to keep up with a regular newsletter, but after signing up for Flowdesk and using my signature content planner, my weekly newsletters have gone out like clockwork. I have not missed a week. And if I may share another of my broken record sayings, consistency is absolutely a key factor for any online business who wants to grow. I understand that you're doing a lot. And when you think about sitting down to write a newsletter, that can feel like a burden and often feel like you have nothing to say. And so you don't say anything but we're gonna fix that because I know that you do have a lot of value to share. And this is the beauty of having a template and a plan. It means that you don't have to think. Hermione already has her content planner downloaded, but if you don't, you can grab it for free using the link in the description below. This will be an essential asset for planning your email content and making sure that they get out on a regular schedule. Now let's start working on Hermione's email newsletter template. As you can see here, Flowdesk does the work for you. So if you don't wanna start from scratch, you can choose from one of their beautifully designed preloaded templates based on your objective. These are the three templates I'm considering for Hermione, which are all under the share news category. Here's why her and your audience would love receiving emails like these. One, they are aesthetically pleasing. Text-heavy emails do work well for certain audiences, but most people prefer ones that include visuals. Number two, they are simple. You use the internet, you know how it is. Nobody stays in one place for very long. These email templates get right to the point. And number three, they get the jobs done. Yes, plural, jobs. A successful email newsletter does three things. Inform about news and new content, inspire your audience to take action, and prompt them to work with you. These templates accomplish all three of those things. Ultimately, I decided to choose this one called Seasonal Updates because it is chic and to the point, just like Miss Granger. To me, the easiest and most fun part is applying your brand's aesthetics to make these pre-designed templates your own. Since Hermione and I already worked together to establish her brand aesthetic, I am going to reference the style guide that I created for her and then apply the fonts and colors to match her look. I also have a folder of pre-selected stock images ready to go, which is something that I recommend to my clients. It comes in handy for email newsletters, but also for creating other uh, content like blog posts, social media, and presentations. So now that we've set the stage, we can start planning and filling in content. I'm using my signature content planner here to populate some ideas so that we can plan out this initial newsletter, but also the next three. 
Once you have those topics established, all you need to do is fill in the blanks. We'll use this first section to write a short personal greeting and then move on to fill in our three blocks. Number one, inform. This is where you wanna share any new content that you've created or to highlight old content that your audience may have missed. Blog posts, podcasts, videos, or social media posts. And if you're just starting out and you don't have anything to share, share a link to someone else's content. Number two, inspire. Now, the way this is set up is that the prompt is delivered first, but I wanna show you how easy it is to rearrange these templates. It is literally drag and drop. So now that we're situated, I love how this is set up as a Q&A, which is a great way to inspire your followers. So if you have an active audience, you can put these questions out on Instagram or in your blog posts or newsletters, or you can write the questions yourself based on topics that you know will help your audience. And lastly, we're going to use this final block to prompt your readers to take action and work with you in some form. This is where Hermione is going to remind her email subscribers of how she can help them and how they can contact her to get started. There are all kinds of other things you can use to enhance your newsletters, like linking your Instagram feed or inserting a video or um, another great text image combo layout. But this is Hermione and we're gonna keep it very simple and straightforward. So let's get rid of all this fluff and update the signature, and then we will move on to add a catchy subject line, preview text, schedule it, and we're good to go. When Hermione is ready to schedule her next newsletter, all she has to do is go into her messages, make a copy of her last email, and then reference her content planner to fill in the next one. So Hermione's work is done, her newsletter template is created, and she has topics scheduled for the next month. Knowing Hermione, she probably has some schedule for the next year. Are you ready to create yours? Don't forget to grab your free content planner download to begin planning out your email newsletter topics. If you'd like to try out Flowdesk, you can grab that 50% off link in the description below. And if you need help, please leave a comment. If this video inspired you, hit that thumbs up button to let me know and click subscribe so that you won't miss out on any more videos like this one. Until we meet again, get out there and make something beautiful.